was, and he does not use him. I don't know. Playing with his brush again, bro. But, you know, so it, it, you deal with that, and then you deal with, with what they're going through, right? They're not only mocking us, but now they're attacking us. And that's a good sign, by the way. Yes. When they started yes. attacking us, they said, that's great. Because they know what we know. That we can win this race. Yeah! yeah. 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 And I'm going to tell you how in just a moment. But first of all, I wanted to thank... All of you who came tonight, I want to thank all of our sponsors who were helpful tonight in making this a very successful event. Uh, Seaside Johnny's uh, for doing this as they do every year, uh, working with us tremendously. Thank you, John. Yes. I, I always say that I have the best governmental staff in the world. You know, they're terrific at what they do. They make me look good, but it makes it easy to go to work every day knowing that the people I trust are doing the right job and the right, uh, right work, and it makes it very easy to make decisions. So I want to thank them, and I also want to thank our campaign staff, because uh, they're working extraordinarily hard. Uh, and I do want to thank, and I know they're here because we took a picture before, all the interns who are here tonight. Yeah. guys are like busy bees every day. Go in there and they're just working hard and, and it all comes together. Um, I also want to point out somebody, Isaac, who is here, a friend of mine, who uh, you will not see him because it's hard to see from about 10,000 feet in the air. But Isaac is a pilot who takes us around the state and that saves us a tremendous amount of time. I love the Tahoe, but let me tell you something. <laughs> it's a lot easier flying to Buffalo in an hour and a half than it is driving at six, so thank you. Guys. So, how are we going to win this race? Because it is a valid question to ask, and I know you didn't, hopefully you didn't write this off because this is not a charitable deduction. <laughs> so, how are we going to win this race? Um, Cuomo knows what we know, and I tell people, don't listen to the polls. Mm -hmm. Don't, because in 2009, at this time in 2009, when we had our soiree, when nobody thought we could win, and we were 30 points down in the polls, I said to people, look, I'm telling you, the issues are on our side. The mood is on our side. The political climate is on our side. And we're going around, and I don't care what the polls say, we know we've got a real chance to win this race because we're hearing from people dissatisfaction of the way the state is going and the need for change. <coughs> and I tell people, you know, when I say this, at first they're, they don't get it, but then they, it clicks right away. It shouldn't be like living in, a, in New York, shouldn't be living in a prison sentence. And what's happening now is people are counting the days off till they can leave. A couple more years, the kids go to college, and we're putting the house up for sale. A couple more years, I retire, and we're gone. We're going to North Carolina or wherever. And that is prevalent everywhere. And whenever I say that, people nod. And then they come up to me and say, you know what? We're just thinking the same thing. We were talking the other day about putting the house up for sale. And it doesn't have to be that way. It shouldn't be that way. I mean, this is New York, you know? And so I'm here to tell people, as I do, whether it's in Livingston County on Friday night coming up, or Allegheny County, or Buffalo, or Lake Placid, or wherever, it's the same. People want the same thing. They want to be able to live in this state and not be chased away by their state. And that's what's happening in record numbers. We've had 400,000 New Yorkers, 400,000, leave this state in the last three and a half years. That is incredible. I was talking to the governor of North Carolina. Pat McCrory, who said to me the other day, it was a couple months ago, but he said to me, y'all got to stop sending your residents down North Carolina. <laughs> They're changing our accents. <laughs> so my job is to make sure no New Yorkers continue to go down to North Carolina. You can go for golf, you can go for summer break, but we want people to stay in New York. And what's happening now is we're no longer going to Florida for the winter. We're going to Florida to stay. And we have to stop the bleeding of our residents and the bleeding of our businesses out of this state. So if we're dead last in the country in all the categories that matter to you and me, 
You know, and business climate and economic outlook and taxes are the highest. In all those categories, worst place to retire according to the AARP, then we've got to make a big change. And that's what we stand for. So I go back to 09 when they said it couldn't be done. When they first laughed at us and said, Rob who? And then they attacked us. And then they said, what the hell happened? How'd this guy win? <laughs> and that's the stages that we're going in right now. We, want, we went through the mocking, laughing stage. And now we're in the attack stage. And soon, in September and October, when we respond, we're going to be in the all-out battle stage for the safety and for, really, for the, for the future of this state. I know that my kids, and my, my son is going to be um, in middle school this year, he's 11, my daughter's 9, my other daughter is 4 and going to, co going to college, oh my god, <laughs> she's really smart, <laughs> she's going to kindergarten this year, and our kids have not a shot in hell at living in this state when it's their turn to get married and to, to start a family, they won't. And I know that's the, say, the, the case everywhere in this state for a lot of adults. A lot of parents are saying the same thing. So I'm in this for maybe selfish reasons, but I'm in this because I love this state. I was born and raised in this state like most of you are. And if my kids have any shot, any shot, at keeping their roots here in New York, then we've got to make the tough choices now to turn this state around. And that's why I'm running. So I can tell you this. Don't listen to the polls. Uh, We've got much better news. We know we're on a track to win. And just like that rainbow, you know, it's sort of like the Wizard of Oz. We're, we're now pulling the curtain back yeah. from the guy who everyone thought was omnipotent, who was all powerful. But now you see it's all fraud. And it's actually coming to light. Everyone is seeing what Cuomo is all about and what this state is really all about. And so. We're going to follow that rainbow, and it's going to lead us on November 4th to a big win. And you're going to be there with us. Just do me one favor, because those of you who know me well, when I'm in Western New York, please don't tell them I'm a Dolphins fan. Please. <laughs> All right, how are we going to win this race? Okay, I'm going to break it down for you because this is what the pundits don't know. Because all we keep hearing is, you can't win. How could you? You can't win New York City. I'm not running for mayor, by the way. I'm running for governor. So here's how we win statewide. The election is going to come down to this. 50% of the total vote being cast in this race, about 5 million votes, 50% of that is coming from upstate. The 52 counties that make up upstate. And we can and we will win big upstate. We better and we're going to win. Yeah. The New York City total is only about 29% of the total vote in this race. It's different for presidential elections, about 40%. But for a governor's race, it's 29% max. And it is likely it's going to be less. We hope, but you know what? If it's less, it helps us. And of that, we can lose New York City 70 to 30, and we hit our number. As long as we do well upstate, and we get to around 30% out of New York State, out of New York City. Which means, here's what it means. If we hit those numbers, it's all gonna come down to exactly where I want it to come down to. Right across the Long Island Sound, Nassau and Suffolk, and right here in Westchester. And if we can win Westchester, of our million people, 49% are Democrat. If we can win Westchester twice by 13 wow. points where they know us the best, yeah. then you know what? I'm going to take my chances in this race. So. So spread the word. We win this. Because Cuomo is going to win the air war. He's got $30 million. He's going to just bombard the airwaves from now until election night. But you know what? The air war is not necessarily what wins these elections. It's the ground game. It's the army. 
And the Army is what goes door to door and talks to people as neighbors. It's what makes calls, it's what goes on Facebook, what puts bumper stickers on cars and lawn signs and lawns. That is how you win a race. And we are going to win the Army. So again, thank you so much for coming. Please, we've got about 80 days to go. We're going to start hitting the accelerator in just a couple of weeks, and it's going to be full blast from Labor Day on. That's when you're going to hear and see this race change dramatically. And you know what? Governor Cuomo might be in Israel today. I wouldn't say it's political, but he's there. In <laughs> but when he comes home, when he comes home tonight, he's still under federal investigation by prosecutors. Yeah! <laughs> coming home to the state that's ranked dead last 50th in the United States with the highest taxes, the worst economic outlook, and the worst business climate in America. He's still coming home to that. So he can run, he can hide, he can go anywhere in the world he wants. But the voters are going to know in the next 80 days what this state is and what it can be and will be starting in January. Nice. 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 Nice.